today we're going to talk a little about the Gunson Antifreeze and Coolant Tester, which I have here in my hand. It says that it is ideal for simple and effective checking of antifreeze levels. So what we're going to do is to test it and see if it is actually effective and accurate. As you can see, the packaging has basically no instructions whatsoever. So we're going to work it out ourselves. If you look here, the tester itself has the temperatures on the front and it tells you that the ideal mixture is 50-50 coolant and so we put together a test to test our antifreeze tester so we have here um a pure antifreeze agent from febby bilstein which supposedly has nothing added to it it is G12. Okay, so we put the test together in measuring cups so that there was no room for error in terms of the measurements. So we have a 25% anti coolant, a 50% anti coolant, and an 80% coolant. So let's see what our little device says. So, as you can see here, it is between the minus 18 and the minus 22 freeze point, which is too low, as the concentration recommended is minus 37. So, let's have a look at the 50%. So here, 50%, which is what it says it recommends, actually is saying minus 29, not the recommended minus 37%. No, minus 37 degrees Celsius, even. So at the moment, it's not looking very accurate. And finally, let's try the 80%. And the 80% is too high. It's on the minus 43 degrees Celsius freeze point. Okay, so we're going to concentrate on our 50% mixture, which, as we saw before, As we saw before, the tester puts at the minus 29 centigrade freeze point. And it should be further up at the minus 37 degrees centigrade freeze point. And on the back, it's the same idea. Here it is the boil over point. So it should be here on 129 degrees centigrade. But it is down here on... 120 between 127 and 128 so as we can see on the anti coolant bottle here they say that if you add one bottle of coolant with the same amount of water then you should get a minus 36 centigrade freeze point, which is 50%, obviously. So, as you can see, it is not at all accurate. 
what we want to do next is to add more anti coolant agent, antifreeze agent to our mixture to see when the device is actually going to say it has 57%, so the minus 37 degrees centigrade freeze point. So we decided to add another 25 millilitres of antifreeze agent to our supposedly 50% mixture. Which, as you can see on the device, brings us to more or less the right 50-50 percentage, supposedly. But we did the maths, and what they say is 50% on the device, you actually need 62.5% antifreeze agent to your water. Uh, meaning that the device itself is not accurate at all with a 12% error margin, but it does work, so that's the positive side. Um, we hope you enjoyed what we did today, so hopefully see you again soon. Bye!